Hi everyone, I'm Tongxin Wang from Indiana University. Today I will introduce our work towards fair cross-domain adaptation via generative learning. While existing domain adaptation methods normally assumes the well-labeled source domain is class-wise balanced, in reality, labeled data from some categories may be limited due to the difficulty of data collection and annotation. We refer to this as future cross-domain adaptation where the classes with limited samples denote filtral classes, while others represent normal classes. The filtral cross-domain adaptation problem could raise concern over the fairness of the corresponding learning tasks, as the available training data is already contaminated by bias towards classes with a majority of samples. To this end, we propose a novel generative filtral cross-domain adaptation model, GFCA for short, to enhance the adaptation ability from extremely imbalanced source domain for better and fairer target sample prediction. To the best of our knowledge, this is the very pioneering work to explore the future cross-domain adaptation problem for fair cross-domain classification. Here we're introducing detail about how our proposed GFCA algorithm addresses the future cross-domain adaptation problem. In future cross-domain adaptation, the source domain contains labeled data of normal and filtral classes without overlapping classes, and the target domain contains unlabeled data sharing the same set of classes as the source domain. Representation learning is first applied to train an effective ResNet 50 feature extractor using the label source data to transfer the image into a feature space for both source and target domains. Taking the input of the random noise Z and the one hot label vector Y, the generator G is trained to synthesize effective source domain data with the guidance of the discriminator in the learned feature space. Based on maximum mean discrepancy regularization, the cross-domain adaptation seeks the general classifier C for both source and target domain through effective cross-domain alignment by training the adaptation network E. Specifically, for fair classification across both normal and future classes, the future cross-domain adaptation problem is addressed by promoting future classes through both the generative data augmentation and the weight regularizer on the classifier using a fair classification term. We evaluated the performance of our proposed method on two datasets, Office 31 and Office Home, where 10 and 20 classes are selected as future classes respectively. Each future class consists of only three samples randomly sampled from the original dataset. We compare our proposed GFCA algorithm with these following state-of-the-art domain adaptation methods. For baseline comparison, we also directly train a network with the same structure as the encoder and classifier in the GFCA using only ResNet 50 features from the source domain. We also compare GFCA with its two variants. The first variant is GFCA two-stage, where data augmentation and domain adaptation in GFCA are performed in two stages. The second variant is GFCA without FC, where the fair classification regularization term on the classifier is removed. Here's the classification results for domain adaptation tasks in the Office 31 dataset. From this table, we observe that all compared methods achieve similar classification accuracy on the normal set, much higher than the baseline. This indicates that domain adaptation is necessary for effective knowledge transfer across domains. For future classification, we observe that the proposed GFCA algorithm makes remarkable performance improvement in all domain adaptation tasks comparing it with existing domain adaptation methods. This demonstrates that our generative future cross-domain alignment approach could indeed boost future classification performance and fair classification among normal and field shock classes. Moreover, GFCA consistently achieved the highest overall classification accuracy compared to existing domain adaptation approaches. For the ablation study results, we observe that GFCA performs better in overall classification than GFCA two-stage and GFCA without FC, which demonstrates that both the end-to-end -end training and the, the regularization with fair classification term are needed for effective and fair classification across both field shot and normal classes. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your time. You could find more details about this project in our paper.